Hi everyone, so thanks for clicking on this video. Um, if you've clicked on it, maybe you have got an interview for a lectureship, maybe you're curious about what it's like to go to be a university lecturer. So in this video, I thought I'd share just a few of my experiences about how I found the process of interviewing for a UK lecturer university position. Um, so we could talk quite a lot on this topic, so I thought I'd break it down. And in this video, I will just share a few pointers about how to get prepared or how to handle questions about your research. So I've got five points and let's jump in. The first point is that you may have questions on your research from the entire department. So I think sometimes when we think of interviews, we kind of imagine a panel of two or three people um, interviewing the person who's going forward for that particular position. Now, if you're applying to be a university lecturer, or at least here in the UK, it's highly likely they're going to ask you to give some form of a talk as part of the interview process. Now, it could be a talk where you're delivering a set of materials as if you were going to give a class, or it could be a talk where you're discussing your research. And in the case of the interview for the job that I have at the moment, it was a research-based talk. So essentially I had, I think it was half an hour to discuss my research, um, share some of my key results, and really importantly to discuss where I was looking to take my research next. Um, and that's super important for the university because they want to see whether you've got research plans, credible ideas, novel lines of inquiry that will then support research projects for students, um, either undergraduate students or PhD students when you join that university. Um, and in my case, the entire department were invited to watch me give this talk. So that's quite a nerve wracking experience. You are already a bit nervous because you're there for a job interview and you've got to talk about your research to, in my case, the whole of the physics department, including a whole load of professors who clearly are, you know, know their stuff. Um, and then you've got to face questions, well, questions and give them answers after your talk. So that is something just to be prepared for. Um, if it's something that's of interest, let me know. I can make a whole video about how I prepared to give a interview talk and how I prepared to tackle the Q&A. But my first point is just be aware that you may get people from the whole department asking you questions about your research. The, sec oh. the second point is that um, you may be invited out for coffee as part of your interview process. In my case, I was actually invited out to lunch. So when I arrived, uh, one of the first things that happened is I was met by the head of department. He introduced me to several of the colleagues working in the department, and then I was taken for lunch by that group of academics. The lunch is definitely not a time to relax and switch off. The lunch is very much part of the interview process. You know, that kind of casual conversations over a sandwich and a drink. Um, they were asking me about my research, you know, what I'd been up to, what I was looking forward to do in the future. I was asking them about their research. Um, it really is part of the assessment process. Uh, I guess this group of colleagues at the department were looking to see whether my research would be complementary, would it be original, would it be achievable? And it was all done in a really nice way. You know, it wasn't like they were firing questions at me over, over our lunch. You know, it was all very relaxed and very conversational, um, but don't let that lull you into a false sense of security. If you get invited out by um, people within the department for a coffee or for lunch or for dinner as part of your interview process, it is part of your interview. So you may want to choose what you eat and drink wisely. Um, it's definitely probably not the time to try to eat anything particularly messy. And I actually had my lunch before I was then going to give my talk in the afternoon to the department. So you may want to think about taking maybe a toothbrush or something in your bag. Nothing worse than giving a talk and not feeling like, you know, you've got things in your teeth. So yeah, just be aware if you get invited to have any kind of refreshment, most likely it will be a crucial part of the interview process. Okay, so then I had to go for this lunch and then I gave my talk and had questions from the department. And then actually we moved into what you would, I think more traditionally think of the interview. So the smaller panel, you know, I think there was four people, 
four, four, maybe five. I think it was four, four people around the table and myself. And that was more of the kind of like the two way Q&A that you'd expect in, a, in an interview panel. Um, so just for this video, then focusing on the research questions, things that you need to be aware that might come up in that interview format is that they're going to ask you about who you would potentially collaborate with. So one of the big things, at least for me as a scientific researcher, is who do I know within the network? Um, which are my contacts? Who I, could I collaborate with if I was going to write for a research grant application? You know, who have I worked with before? Just sharing your, your wider network and how you would be able to use that to grow and influence your research should you join that university department. So that's definitely something to think about, is think about your connections and how your research is connected to other researchers uh, and why that might be useful for you if you were to get that job at the university. Um, I think something else to think about as well is your, your publications. So yes, the department are going to be interested in your past publications because um, they'll be the ones in your CV and the ones that potentially have helped you get to that interview. But the department are also going to be interested in your plans for future publications. You know, they want to see that you have um, a passion for your research and that you are keen to share what you are learning about your particular subject. So it's a good idea to have in your head the key journals that you are looking forward to publishing in as you go forward in your career. You know, where are the journals that you want to put your papers and research out into? and showing to that interview panel that it's credible for you to be able to do that. Showing that you've got credible research ideas that can translate into funded projects. So, you know, you could use your networks to help you secure research funding that will then lead on to journal publications, in particular journals. Um, so yeah, think about that. And I guess uh, one of the final things to think about when you're preparing for the, the research element of your interview is think about what makes the research A, unique to you and B, complementary to that department. So I guess for me, I was thinking about, okay, the science that I'm doing, how is that science novel and unique? So why is my research exciting? You know, why should the department want me to be in their, their team? You know, what would they get out of my research if I were to join them? But then also showing that my research would be complementary to the research group that I was applying to join. So I guess I was trying to show in my interview that my research wouldn't be replicating that of people already in the department. You know, I'm not looking to do the same thing that somebody already in the department does, but I'm looking to do something that would complement what colleagues in the department already do. Um, and it's quite tricky that that takes quite a bit of research. So you do need to have a look on the university resources, typically the university website, looking at the people working in the department already, looking at their research areas, and then just thinking about how your research would be exciting and new for the department, but would also slot in and be complementary to those who already work at that university. So yeah, they are just a few I guess pointers or maybe things to be aware of when you're going for a lecturer job interview for a university position. Be aware you could get questions from your research from the whole department, you know, maybe even the faculty, but in my case it was from the entire department. Watch out if you get taken out for a lunch or coffee, that will be very much part of the interview process and any chatting you do about your research over that coffee, that's part of the interview process. And then think about your own personal network of contacts, Think about your future ambition and where you want to be able to publish and share your research and take a moment or two to think about what makes your research both unique, but also an excellent fit for that particular university. So I hope that helps. If you're going for a job interview right now, I hope that gives a little bit of help for the, for the research element of the job interview. Job interviews are very different. Different universities will have different ways of doing things, different policies. Um, but in a future video, I'll share a little bit about the teaching side of the job interview and how to get ready for the teaching questions. Um, and if you're interested in how I got ready to give my interview talk, leave me a comment and I can make that into a future video. So leave me comments. I really do like reading the comments. Feel free to like and subscribe and all that good YouTube stuff. Um, if you're new here, hi, my name is Caroline. I'm a UK based physics lecturer videos go up every Monday. So have a good week, stay safe, look after yourselves, and I'll see you next week. Bye.